How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this is going to be my rankings on all 12 of the next gen MSPs. So I'm going to do all 12 first and then I'll do just my week 2 rankings after. Okay, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it, alright? So, basically, we're going to go from worst to best here and again, worst doesn't mean they're terrible cards. They're all excellent, excellent cards here. This is a great event, uh, really, I would say. There's just so many excellent choices but... Starting off here, guys, I'm going to start with number 12, and it is going to be the goaltender, Jesper Wallstead, all right? And again, no offense to him either. He's a good card, but goalies are just so inconsistent and random, so I have to put him 12th, all right? I just do, unfortunately. 6'3", 213 here. Uh, Silver Butterfly effect's really good, though. Uh, silver pose to post. I like the silver contortionist and also gold no timer. So I mean those are those are good really good abilities. I like that a lot. That's the only thing I can really say is like really maybe that's intriguing with this card. I uh, also has 60 aggression, which is very low, so also you want that. But other than that, I mean this wall stack card, it's not amazing, but it's it's there it's definitely good. I mean I don't like saying cards are terrible because it's certainly not terrible. All right, moving on to the next card now though, number 11 is going to be Daniela Pejova. Okay, so Daniela Pejova coming in at number 11. She's 5'8", 161. All right, she got light the lamp and buzzing, distributor and gladiator and bombarded. She's on defense here, lefty. She has silver unstoppable force, silver thunderclap, silver tape of tape, and gold stick em. Up. So that's really nice to see that ability there. So I mean, she's got good stats here too. 94 excel and 94 speed. The shots good too. 96, 93, 92, and 91. So that's that's a very exciting, encouraging thing uh, with her card. Uh, but I mean, not amazing. Not not amazing. I feel like there are definitely better options than her out there. But uh, she's she's at number 11 free. And then number 10 uh, is going to be Sarah Philly. Now this card's actually pretty good. I'm a fan. So she's a righty winger here, 5'5", 130. She's got amazing synergies, all right? Spark, Workhorse, Fly the Zone, and Buzzing. So 96 acceleration and 97 speed. So that is very, very good skating on her. The shot's great too, 93, 93, 94, and 94. So uh, this card is really, really good. I mean, Sarah Fillier, I mean, she also has gold, unstoppable force, silver wheels, silver close cores, and silver elite edges. That's why uh, I'm a big fan of her card, actually. I think she... She certainly is one that should be recognized as one of the better cards here in it. But, I mean, it's tough to obviously put her ahead of some other players, right? Moving on to number 9 now. Number 9 is going to be Kent Johnson. Where this card, to me, is just kind of, eh, it's fine. It's not bad. It's not great. It's fine. All right? So, he's six foot, 175 pounds, thief, workhorse. Uh, sorry, thief and protector, uh, distributor, well-rounded, and magician. Uh, again, good card. It could be a fun card. He has gold skilled up, right? That could be a little bit fun to mess around with. 93 Excel, 94 Speed. The shot's pretty good. 96, 97, 96, and 96. So, I mean, that's that's what's really cool maybe about is, is his shot being good. But Silver Elite Edges, Puck on a String, Close Cores is always nice. But gold skilled him up could be really the reason to maybe have him just for fun, really. If you can pull the Michigan off, that could be... That could be an intriguing thought, so that's why I would consider him uh, maybe just for more fun. His face-offs actually did get boosted up from the last uh, last week. It's 88 face-offs now, so that's that's decent, I guess. Uh, but now number eight now. Number eight, we're getting up there now. Number eight is going to be Matty Beneers. Matty Beneers, 6'2", 178 pounds here. Uh, he's a lefty. He can obviously play center. His face-offs are 88. Uh, buzzing and distributor as our synergy options. Thief gets his face off up to 93 with distributor active, and then applesauce as well helps out some of his his, uh, his shots. So I mean, it's a good card. 94 excel, 98 agility, 93 speed. He's very similar to Ken Johnson. The reason why I prefer him over Johnson is his face off is a little bit higher. Uh, I also like the gold elite edges and silver unstoppable force on him. That's really nice. 92, 98, 95, 96 for the shot. Very similar shot. Uh, to Johnson, so that's not really the the main reason. Where really where I'm where I'm why I'm down on it maybe, but I mean he's not I'm not down on him either. I mean number eight's not terrible, but yeah he's a uh, good card for sure. Uh, but I would not make him compared to other players ahead of him. But he's certainly good. Then number seven is this Brand Clark card. I know a lot of people are really weren't really thinking much of it, but I think this card's actually pretty good. All right, so he's six two one eighty five, a righty D man, right? Uh, workhorse and distributor. 
So we can get 93 Excel with Workhorse, but we can only activate Distributor because I'm showing that. Uh, Fly the Zone gives him up to 93 speed. Uh, I can only show with Buzzing. Gladiator also helps out his Endurance. Uh, but 6 2 185. Yes, his abilities are pretty bad. I, I'm not going to lie there, but Silver Heat Seeker, Silver Seeing Eyes, Silver Ankle Breaker for defense is really an interesting one. Ankle Breaker. But uh, that gold Elite Edges on defense is uh, very helpful usually. So that's that's why I really like this card is gold Elite Edges. Uh, 97 defensive awareness, 90 body checking. I mean, it's not not a cracked card, but I would say he's, he's pretty good. I mean, I, I like him for sure. Uh, his shot is good too, 99 power for his slap shot and wrist shot, so that's that's really nice. Uh, now, moving on to the next card here, and the next card is going to be number six, and it's going to be Matt Boldy, where I feel like I was considering ranking him higher. It was a tough one. Again, these are really hard to, to rank these cards. They're all so, so good. Uh, six to 201 pounds, Dangle City or Distributor. Distributor is probably what you want to have active. Uh, Wingman is what you probably want to have active, and then Light the Lamp. 62201 with 93 Excel and 94 speed. His shot's good to 92, 95, 94, and 96. Uh, he also has that gold unstoppable force on him, so that's really nice. Uh, silver close quarters. I mean, the close quarters, the gold unstoppable force. I mean, those are the abilities that you want to see uh, on these players. You really do. So uh, 91 defensive awareness is good for a forward as well. 95 buy is pretty good too for a forward. So uh, I really like this Beth Matthew Boldy card a lot. He's very good. All right, moving on to top five now. Number five. Number five is Owen Powers. I think a lot of people thought this guy was going to be number one before he came out. But the only thing that kind of holds him back is his abilities aren't amazing. They're not bad, but... I don't know. It, it's close for sure. I, I like power. I do. I really do. But I wouldn't put him much higher than this. I mean, you, you could justify him being top three, though. 6'6", 218, lefty. He's got Applesauce and Bombarded. Uh, buzzing or Distributor. Buzzing, you probably want to have active on him. Light the Lamp. His shot gets pretty up there as well. 90, uh, 99, 90, 97 for his shot. So that's an excellent shot. Uh, 91, 96, 96, 97, and 92 for his skating. So excellent skating on power there. Uh... Gold Elite Edges and Silver Shutdown. Unstoppable Force is kind of whatever for a defenseman, I feel. But uh, Owen Power, uh, to me, is number five on the list. I mean, he, he's really good. I mean, but I, I don't think he's really that high. But maybe I'm wrong. I, I could be wrong. It's just my opinion, guys. Number four now, though, is Slavkoski. All right? Well, Slavkoski has to be mentioned. He is 6'3", 238 pounds. All right? And he has Wingman, and he also has Spark. So 93 Excel, 93 Speed on a guy that is that big, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, gold Close Quarters on him. We got Silver Big Rig. I mean, it's really the Gold Close Quarters I'd probably really have active. I don't think Big Rig is really that great, uh, honestly. His shot's 90, 97, 91, and 98. His face-offs are whatever. I mean, he's, he's a winger, right, obviously. So uh, you can't really expect too much from him on the face-offs, but... So if Kasi's really good, I like him a lot for sure. I think he's deserving to be number four on this list, all right? Now, number three here. Number three is going to be this Evanson card. Now, why am I ranking him ahead of power, you might be wondering. Okay, well, 6'6", 215 pounds. Uh, I just like him more for some reason. Spark gives him 92 XL, right? Bombardier can help his shot, shot out a little bit more. But really, why do I like him a lot more is the abilities. I really do. I like gold. Stick him up a lot more than gold elite edges on power. I really do. I just think I think it's a big difference. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like Evanson would play better than power. Uh, just my thought process. I can't confirm that, but it's just my thought process. It's my guess. It's my opinion. Uh, but Evanson looks to be very, very good and fun to use. So uh, Evanson to me is number three uh, on the list here. And now let's move on to number two now. Number two is going to be Connor Bedard, all right? So I know people are still probably saying, like, oh, how can you rank Bedard here? He's 5'10", Enrique. Well, his shot is still ridiculous. I don't care what you say, okay? We activate those synergies. I mean, are you, are you kidding me? I mean, his shot's literally 99 everything except for his, his uh, slap shot accuracy. So come on. Uh, but his skating's great. 94 excel and speed. And it's another interesting one here. And you want to know what it is? Guys... He will probably get a team of the season card, right? And you'll be able to trade this MSP in for his team of the season, right? Not for free, but like you'll tra you'll trade it in and a team, a few team of the season collectibles. So that's why I think it's really worth it too. Gold wheels, silver elite edges, silver close quarters, and silver unstoppable force. I mean, those are amazing abilities on him. So uh, I really think bedard has got to be a guy that you consider. 89 face offs. He's not even that bad. So number one though. I know last week I, I didn't mention him as number one. I know last week number one is Bedard's number one. But now, after trying him out on PlayStation as well, number one to me is Jake Sanderson. No question about it. 6'3", 195. With Sparky has 94 XL. 
Uh, this card's awesome. I'm sorry. It really, really is. He's an awesome card. Gold Truculence is so broken on him. Uh, that's really what it is. I mean, I don't really use any other abilities on him, but that Gold Truculence, his shot's great too. 89, 96, 90, and 99. I feel like his shot's actually pretty underrated. Uh, 91 body checking, but again, with Gold Truculence, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's even better. 94, Defensive Awareness. Uh, but I really like the Sanderson card a lot since I've been using him. I really do. All right. But now it's time to rank the week two card just individually, guys. So here's how I would rank it. All right. So number six for me would be Sarah Fillier. Okay. So number six would be Sarah Fillier. Number five would be Brant Clark. Okay. Number four would be Matt Boldy. Number three would be Owen Power. All right. Number two would be Slavkoski. And then number one would be Simon Edvinson, all right? So that's how I rank it, guys. Let me know what you think of my rankings. And it's just my ranking. It's just my thoughts. Doesn't mean I'm 100% right. I'm not a genius. I know I'm not. But as always, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you get three E's. And I'll see you guys later. I'll see you in the next video.